Diana, this is a conflict that changed the world, changed Canada. After years of fighting that killed hundreds of thousands of people and made refugees out of millions of Syrians, peace, while far from guaranteed, seems possible. Just as peace was being promised, a reminder of what this war nearly six years on has done. Airstrikes, a Syrian human rights group says, killed 40 people, children included, in a suburb of Damascus today, a rebel stronghold. But could it finally be ending? The ceasefire will be across all Syrian territories, state television announced this morning. Turkey, which wants Assad gone, and Russia, which supports Assad, brokered this deal. But even now, Russia's president admits nothing is certain. Fragile is the word Vladimir Putin used to describe the agreement. Turkey's president called it a historic chance, a window of opportunity that should not be wasted. It is a chance, too, for the two countries to take the lead as power players in the region. Turkey and Russia will be the gatekeepers, the ones who will intervene if things don't go as planned with the ceasefire. And plans for peace in Syria have been destroyed before. There are already potential complications. One group of Kurdish militants, the YPG, which Turkey opposes, is not part of the deal. There's no clear word on whether al-Qaeda's affiliate in Syria is or is not, and Turkey says it will keep fighting ISIS in part of Syria. Syrians who've stayed in their country are just as divided as before the war. We're with the ceasefire, he says. It's the beginning of a new phase for the opposition. I'm completely against it, this Syrian says. Our main aim was to get rid of Bashar al-Assad, and Bashar al-Assad will remain. What will become of Assad? The man so many wanted gone, survived. As much of his country crumbled, destroyed in part by his own supporters. Could Syria see the kind of political transition that ends with elections and leads to Assad's exit? Turkey says the UN should help secure that kind of political pact. But first, if the ceasefire holds, talks in Kazakhstan to help plot Syria's future.